Welcome to Wallatopia. We love having you here. Now, we reviewed a couple wing back wallets in the past, and I recently purchased their newly released Winston bifold. It looks excellent, so let's get into it. Comes in this uh, wonderful double thickness cotton bag. Apparently it's made by uh, Okotex in Poland. And this, this bag is repurposable and really looks and feels good. This is heavy duty. I think I'll be using it for something else. And uh, here we go. This is the whiskey color of leather with blue thread, which you can specify. Let's see what we've got here by way of a nice little card. Hope you enjoy the wallet. Comes in handy at future adventures. And this is always great. Gives you information about the leather. Wonderful. Personalization. Gotta love that. Now, in talking with the folks at Wingback, this is the front of the wallet, they've informed me that their, their stamp here actually is going to be in the back going forward, not on the front. So that uh, would be one change, I think, that you might see if you order this wallet in the future. Let's take a quick look. Nice painted edges here. Love the fact this is folded up. Beautiful flesh side of the leather. Very nice. And let's look at the sewing here really quick. Nice looking and feeling wallet. Onto the feature review of the Winston from Wingback. On the exterior of the Winston, we don't see no appreciable features here. If we go into the interior, we see that we have a card slot here on the left, as well as one mirrored here on the right. You notice that uh, there is a an offset to the leather here. This one is tighter, it comes up a little further towards the top. This one is a little more open because uh, not as much leather here. I would put your quick access cards here, for example, and probably your more archive cards you wouldn't access there uh, over here on the left-hand side, which makes sense as you open. If you're right-handed, of course, you'll pull from this side, uh, which I have nothing against lefties, honestly. Gives you a quick access there. And of course, uh, cash in the interior. This is the open billfold slot here, which uh, has cash that can lay depending on the, the currency, as well as maybe folded once. And you can, of course, put cards back here too, if you'd like and it would be able to handle that. And that is a quick review of the features of the Winston from Wingback. Now remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. So let's get into the card and cash insertion test. saw how we got through that. I got four cards and uh, six slips of cash. That was euros. Same thing with dollar bills, but you notice how it was all kind of different. <clears throat> this is set up to have euros as well as British pounds fit flat in the back here. And for everything else, for US dollars, that'd be Canadian currencies, Australian dollars as well. Um, it will all work folding at once, but yen, for example, isn't going to work. It just won't fit in there at all. So it, very tight tolerances by way of the cut of this, which allows for that. And so really, it comes down to the type of currency you like to carry. Minimalist carry this would be two cards. Reasonable is six. The company says it can hold up to 12. I mean, that's when the leather is stretching, but it works. And up to 20 notes. But of course, that's with them folded flat. As I just mentioned regarding the, the position of different currencies, if you have a note upwards of 145 by 90 millimeters, it will work flat. Uh, dollars, of course, work folded once, once. Yen would be twice, and folding twice just isn't really great, so I wouldn't really go there. It is uh, designed and manufactured in the United Kingdom. It's made from a full-grain, veg-tanned, environmentally certified 
premium Tuscan leather and it is laser cut. Now, when you purchase this wallet, you get to choose your leather color. This is whiskey, that, as I mentioned, and also the color of leather, and I did blue. You can have personalized messages put on this. It really becomes kind of a, a bespoke offering and it is hand saddle stitched. The thread is a heavy gauge Gutermann thread from Germany and I really love how these edges here are beveled. And you have the beveling of the leather edge there as it comes through the pocket area down here. Even in the small opening that we have here, it is beveled. And that is something that uh, Wingback does on all their wallets. I think it's just a great attention to detail. It gives the illusion of thinness here, even though you still have the weight or thickness of the leather uh, farther into the body of it. Uh, you can see that it just provides a nice piece there. And this is a nice, very nice painted edge here. Uh, again, a lot of attention to detail. And I love how this is made of really two pieces. Sorry, mates, three pieces. You have the main body of the back that folds up and provides these two back pieces, and then you have one and two here on either side. That's then sewn. But I love this texture and this detail here. You see the folded edge on the bottom, along with the folded on the back, and then you have the open ends here. It just gives it a nice look. Now the price on this is 100 US dollars, converted from British pounds, and I really like this open billfold area right here. We, we've seen this in other wallets, and I, I tend to really like it because you're, you're now removing another piece of leather that would normally be here that would give you a separation into a billfold area. So it keeps it thinner, but you're really not losing any access. You can still put cards there, but you can see the currency that you have. I, I just don't see a downside to having an open billfold slot like this. And I love how, of course, it keeps it thinner because it's one less piece of leather involved. Now, Wingback mentions that it can also fit your passport. It is a clever use, a secondary use of this to where you just have it open, you put the back of your passport in here and you then use this as an open piece of leather and then of course you have cards in here like you find with a lot of passport wallets so it is kind of a clever secondary use for this now the tight dimensions on this make it a perfect front pocket carry wallet as it does measure 3.74 by 2.95 by 0.4 and it weighs 51 grams now i love their guarantee try for 30 days keep for 30 years it's an excellent example of a maker company who cares about the entire life cycle of their product offering from the design, uh, the materials, the construction method, and even their process of customer orders and the service they provide, which is really good. Now they stand behind everything they make and they say that they will replace, repair, or refund any product that does not meet their standard. So now let's get onto the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of three, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 40 out of 50. Thanks for being here as always. Smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button. Keep coming back for more. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.